What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today, as expected, we're going to go ahead and discuss Season 6 in Modern Warfare 2. Of course, there are a ton of things that I want to go ahead and make content about, different comparison videos between weapons, different maps, a lot of, you know, in-depth discussions. And we have a lot of good stuff planned, you know, in store here on this channel. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell, so you can go ahead and stay tuned on all the recent content here. And also, don't forget, we are going to be playing X Defined today because it is is coming out with a open play test, I think only for PC, just for a handful of hours. We're going to grind that out on stream, which we do over on Twitch. You can find the link to that down in the description of this video. But today, I wanted to just simply give my first initial impressions of the overall season. I might, you know, touch upon a few things that I want to go in depth on later on, like I said, but I I think I put enough play time into the season to know that it, it really is just going to be a disappointment. It, it sucks to say because, really... It had a decent amount of potential. They seriously did a few good changes, which, again, we'll talk about. But when it really comes down to it, it just isn't enough. And I don't think people are truthfully going to come back and put any time into this game whatsoever. But first and foremost, I do want to go ahead and discuss Infinity Ward finally did listen a tad bit. They went ahead and fixed the UAV bug. Now, apparently, people are reporting that it's still happening on the occasion. But overall, I haven't noticed it yet. I've only played the new content, so I haven't played any of the other maps. So maybe it's just because the new maps, you know, they made sure they launched good without the UAV bug. So let me know down in the comment section if you're still noticing it. But they finally openly put it in a blog post. It's been ignored for months on top of months on top of months, but they finally went ahead and put it in. Trust me, I'm not giving Infinity Ward any praise whatsoever because they fixed this because it took months on end to get it fixed. And on top of that, Treyarch, had to bring it to their attention, okay? It wasn't Infinity Ward who acknowledged the community. It was Treyarch, Treyarch, who acknowledged the community. So they don't deserve much respect for making us wait this long. But at the end of the day, can I complain? You know, not really. It's a good thing that's been introduced, and it's definitely making the experience a lot more tolerable compared to having people getting advanced UAVs worth, like, three kills every five seconds. Any noob in the world could drop these things, and you will be on the minimap like no tomorrow. All of your flanks, all your moves are just simply completely pointless. So, yeah, it's a good thing that that was fixed. And for the map designs, I gotta be real, you know, this is probably one of the better maps that have been released within this game. And I'll be honest, I think I personally enjoy the Modern Warfare 2 maps a lot more than a lot of other people out here. But with that being said, I still believe that this is something the mass majority of people will enjoy, you know. It's it's pretty close quartered, it feels like a mix of, kind of like Raid mixed with Nuketown almost. And it really rubs off those... Treyarch vibes. I've said this time and time and time again in plenty of my videos. If you've been watching me for a while now, you already know it. That I really do believe that instead of development teams trying to take inspiration from Infinity Ward, it seems like the scripts are finally flipping. It seems like a lot of these teams, like Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer, are taking tons of inspiration from the Treyarch development team. <laughs> like, seriously, this map feels like something that Treyarch would produce. Same thing with a lot of the other maps that have been coming out as DLC. A decent amount of them have felt like Treyarch completely designed them from the ground up, which I don't think they did. Not realistically, I think Infinity War did, but still, at the end of the day, yeah, the flow is really clean. The colors are very bright and vibrant. I enjoy it. And then, of course, the other map, the Village map, which is a classic Call of Duty 2 map. It is what it is. You know, I already love that map in Call of Duty 2, so it was just a massive hit of nostalgia to play it in Modern Warfare 2. And low-key, it plays really fast. I'll have other gameplay, maybe a little bit of it at the end of this video, but I'll probably post it in another video completely altogether because this gameplay right here is pretty dang fire. But overall, when it comes to maps, I'm not really too disappointed. I think both of them are really enjoyable and will last, you know, in the rotation. But then, you know, comes the weapons. I hear that they are really good, but <laughs> leave it a typical Activision, it's impossible to grind out this battle pass. I'm going to say it again, like I've said millions of times before in all of my videos. I hate the Call of Duty battle pass. Some battle passes are pretty scummy out there, I'll be honest. But the Call of Duty battle passes are the worst battle passes you will ever witness. The grind factor is absolutely absurd. And anybody who doesn't do this play games all day every day, have that time on their hands, you're screwed. You're going to be getting content at such a slow rate, and you'll be lucky enough to even finish the battle pass at the end of the day. Now, I do hear that you can hop into DMZ 
to, you know, quickly rank up and get through challenges and, you know, finish it really quickly. But is that necessary? Can't I just play what I enjoy out of Call of Duty 6v6? Shouldn't it be, you know, an, an easy enough grind through that? You know, in Battlefield, I don't have to go play DMZ, you know, well, not DMZ, but whatever they're, <laughs> uh, God, I haven't, has zone. that's what it was, right? Uh, you don't have to play that to rank up very fast when it comes to your battle pass. You don't have to, you know, do anything else. You can play Conquest or Breakthrough, and you can simply do the daily challenges. All the daily challenges in Modern Warfare 2 go directly to your rank, which is freaking pointless until just now when they decided to put in you know an end rank skin which they didn't advertise at all until the very last season when nobody gives a crap and it's way too late for people to start even wanting to you know begin the grind <laughs> go figure but rank is pointless it's stupid in current day call of duty ever since they implemented the seasonal system it, it's absolutely pointless and that's where all your daily rewards go to i never look at them Never. Now, maybe if they advertise the daily rewards as something that would go towards their battle pass, I would, you know, glance at them and do stuff and do challenges, but I don't because it's pointless. The only way to grind through the battle pass is just putting in play time, and you're going to be putting in a ton of it if you want to get any of the content out of this stuff. So I will do comparisons like going to private matches and, you know, use the weapons, but when it comes to public matches, public gameplay... Don't expect anything from me. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to buy it through the Battle Pass. I did get the Battle Pass because I get it for free if you complete it, obviously. But I'm not going to do anything extra. You know, it is what it is. You'll probably see it from 50,000 different content creators. When I get my hands on it, I'll try to make some content to, you know, bring some entertainment to the table. I always enjoy mixing things up, but for the time being, don't expect it anytime soon. Infinity Ward also did some weapon tuning as well, and, you know, it's, it's whatever. I might go a little bit more in-depth on certain weapons that I really care about, but... You know, the, the massive majority of the time, nothing ever gets affected. When it comes to Warzone, things massively change. The meta, you know, the meta always changes in Warzone, but when it comes to the changes that they do in multiplayer, it never means anything, anything. Like, for example, the shotgun that I'm using in this clip right here, it's supposed to be, you know, nerfed down. I'm still demolishing with it. And I picked this up off the ground. I don't even know if it has any, any you know, crazy attachments, but it's still absolutely shredding. I'm having no problems with it whatsoever. And it was supposed to be nerfed down to, you know, add a little bit more encouragement to go use pump actions, but I see no reason to use a pump action still if you can use this beast of a machine indoors. I, I guess at the end of the day, to summarize this, con I don't want to, you know, rant your guys' ears off and, you know, hold you for too long. Again, this, I guess, is my first initial impressions of the season. But overall, just like every other season, I don't see it keeping anybody interested. That 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 really is the summary of the whole deal. They've done some pretty cool things. They have added night nice stuff to the game. And I do enjoy seeing inspiration from Treyarch scattered across the title now. But too little, too late, you know? Nobody's here anymore. Everybody's gone. And every single season that drops, again, they add tiny things that are improvements. But do people really stay? No. The player count always dwindles. Nothing ever keeps anyone interested. I will say the haunted event might be pretty cool to play around in. I'm excited to see what that's about. And I'm going to put out, you know, tons of, you know, content about it. But at the end of the day, that's not until basically the middle of the month. And, you know, how long is it going to last? Is it even going to be something that's going to be something that's constant? It just really feels like, Again, people won't be interested. I don't think people are going to come and see, oh, look, two new maps uh, that I'm just probably not even going to play because my for 3 is going to drop. They're not going to be transferred over. And, you know, two weapons. One is a weapon that's just literally a second version of an SMG that's already in the game. And we have an assault rifle, which is pretty cool. But, you know, the grind time takes so long to get them that it, it doesn't even feel good to try to obtain these weapons. Why put forth your time in a game that you don't enjoy? And that's why I think this game is going to run into its issues. I think people just already have a bad taste of this title. And no matter what they do, even with some fixes, it's not going to change anybody's mind. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my summary of season six, ladies and gentlemen. I will have some more things in detail, you know, a lot of, you know, things I want to discuss. But at the moment, it's just it's, it's a disappointment. It's a guaranteed disappointment. And it's sad because, yes, they have done good things, but it doesn't matter how many good things they do. This game is already tainted with a horrible reputation, a horrible reputation. And I don't think that's going anywhere. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, make sure you go down in the comment section, leave your opinions down below. Have you played season six yet? Or are you, you know, holding off or do you not even care about season six whatsoever? I actually know a ton of people are probably going to be skipping up on season six to just simply play X Defiant, the public, you know, test for PC. So <laughs> that alone might pull some numbers away. But seriously, let me know your opinions about what, you know, came in this season. Do you think there's positives? Do you think it's only negatives? Uh, you know, it's good that the UAV bug was fixed. But again, after so long, it's just... 
I don't know. Overall, I saw some positives, but you know my opinion. At the end of the day, it's not enough to keep people interested. And if people do come back, more than likely, it's just going to be for Warzone. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a dislike if you hated it. Subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified for content just like this. We have tons of things to go ahead and talk about. Comparison videos to the Call of Duty 2 map, you know, uh, weapon comparisons, rants, talk about X Defiant. We're going to be discussing the, you know, the play test to see if it's any improvements. That video will be tomorrow. So, of course, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified for that stuff. And last but not least, we will be streaming today, X Defiant, over on Twitch. Link to that is down in the description of this video along with all my other socials. But as always, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.